Thursday the 25th of September. I'm Richard Wiltshire. This is the ETX Capital Daily Market Bite. Good morning. Yesterday, better than expected US home sales data gave it to equity markets a boost with the S&P closing up 0.8% to halt a three day run of losses. The Dow closed up uh, a whopping 154 points. Uh, we're calling it down 15 today. Uh, the FTSE missed a lot of the action, but uh, we're calling it up five today. Elsewhere, uh, ECB President Draghi said the ECB is ready to uh, use unconventional tools in intervention if inflation stays too low for too long. And overnight, uh, the Reserve Bank of New Zealand Governor Wheeler said the Kiwi level is too high and unjustified and unsustainable. Uh, this caused a, a sell-off in the New Zealand dollar uh, to current sort of 79.75 levels, which is the lowest for over a year, and it also weighed, uh, as you would expect, on the Aussie dollar. Um, elsewhere in the foreign exchanges, dollar strength remains the underlying theme. Um, aided by the better than expected data from the US showing new home sales rose 18% and Draghi comments the euro dollar traded lo much lower, down to current lows um, around the 127.60-65 level, uh, which is the lowest since about July 2013. Cable also traded lower, 80 pips down to around 163.20. Um, obviously Sterling t took some consolation after the uncertainty of the Scottish referendum last week. But it seems to have uh, been, been under a bit of pressure with the, the ongoing dollar strength in the market. On the data front, um, Draghi is speaking in Vilnius today. The Bank of England Governor, Carney, is speaking. Uh, and in the US, we've got initial jobless claims and August durable goods uh, and a plethora of uh, data out of Japan this evening. That's about it. Have a good day. Thank you.